You have to say her name slowly, gently, and with respect. Bob, Riz, Key. Her first and only interview on TV this year. They're one of the hardest people to book across Nigeria. You said these people are wondering, you know, whether he or she yes. is. Are you he or are you she? And after a 30th birthday to be remembered for the ages, she is in my studio today. I am excited to talk to her about everything. Look, you were born as a man. Yes. Why did you want to be a woman? I, I did a tweet in 2016 and talked about how uh, Bob Risky is an important phenomenon. And ever since then, I've wanted to sit down with her and understand the journey from Idris to Bob, you know, the controversy, the slaying, the bay. Are you happy? Flashy lifestyle, the fearlessness. And where is all of this going? Who does Bob Risky really think she is today? On with Shudi. I'm going to ask you about the most important thing that everybody's talking about now. Oh, your 30th birthday. birthday. How was that? Oh, it was also, it was nice. Yeah? What yes. was the thing, you know, what I saw, the clip I saw, I actually watched a 30-minute clip mm -hmm. of you dancing to Kwam Wan. Yes. You know, what was, what, is, what was your feeling when you, you are here, you are, this is the king of, you know, Fuji. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody is here to celebrate you. Okay. How were you actually feeling at that time? Okay, I was, I was super great. And, um, you know, like I already have planned that. Okay, I want to make the 30th birthday party very big. Yes. Do you yes. understand? Yes. So when I told people, oh, I'm calling Kwan Wan, they're like, ah, Kwan Wan is very expensive. Yes. What's up with this old Kwan Wan thing? And I'm like, that's the way I want it, because I want a luxury party. Mm -hmm. So when I came in and I saw a lot of crowd, mm -hmm. all my guests came through, mm -hmm. and I saw Kwan Wan also performing, mm -hmm. I was overwhelmed, I was happy, and I was like, okay, I'm getting to that point where my dream is about to come true. Mm -hmm. Almost there, right. do you understand? Yeah. Because it's not easy for um, the kind of legend do you understand, to come through for me, not even the money. Sometimes I, I think it was able to attain to me because of, he's a very nice man. It was like, even when we went to go and pay him in his hometown in the Jabu, people were like, I oh, know, how would you go and call him from Bob Brisky? How would you do that? You know, people were saying all sorts of things, but he has already said, this party, I'm coming through. So there's nothing Nobody can tell me. Yes. You, you are rich, <laughs> you know. How, where is this money coming from? Okay, so most times I am this person that I allow people to say different things yes. because that's what keeps me in the news all the time. Right. The moment I come and tell you, okay, you know what, let me now explain to you guys, this is where the money is coming from. I don't think I'll be training like the way I'm training. <laughs> People want to know, ah, bought this, yeah. did this, did every day, do you understand? All this showing of money, 15 million, 100 million dollars, everything. Well, let me start from my um, adverts, influencing. Um, I charge a lot of money. When I tell people that I charge over 30 million to influence people's brand, people don't be like, ah, it's a lie, you bought brisky. You know, and I love the fact that they're actually looking down on me because it's making me go far. Right. Do you understand? Right. So when they now see them, like, ah, oh my, it's true. Hmm. This one, whole oh, no. hmm. So going back to the money aspects, um, from my endorsement still, mm -hmm. I charge for six months. It depends on the brand I'm inflating for. I charge like over 15 million above. Do you understand? And because I do it with passion, I'm this person that I love to influence, to talk, to 
showcase myself, to show off myself. So people want to watch me. They're so interested, like, okay, you know what? I want to watch this Bobriski. I don't still get one thing. Let me keep watching. Let me understand what Bobriski eat. So from there, I, look, I bring out two different brands, you know, and people go, oh, okay, if this can look so good on Bobriski, then I think it's going to look perfect on me. And they'll start buying. So people see the effects. That's the brand. See the effects of what I sell or what I put out there. Mm -hmm. And if I said I'm collecting any amount of money, the no brand would tell me, no, I won't pay. They, they'll pay. So there is influencing, yes. which is the one we can see. Yes. Then there is the behind the scene business, the business, which you are not yet ready to tell us so that we don't, we separate it from the Bobriski. Exactly. Which, but where is Bay in all of this? Is Bay number one or number three? Bay is number three. Right, yeah. base number three. But what was the first thing that you started using to make money? Was it business influencing Bay or what? What was the thing that first started bringing you money? Okay, I think the first thing that I, I think what actually a lot of people to me, this whole thing started from my Snapchats. You know, they're like, ah, it was Lily, who is this one again? Yeah. I was just living my real life. People were thinking, oh, Babiski is forming. Who is this one coming to form? Coming to form, he or she has money. Yeah. But I wasn't doing anything just to get people's attention. I was just my real self. Right. Just to let people know that this one is not here to start acting movies, mm -hmm. acting scripts. Mm -hmm. I am here to just be myself do my daily lifestyle on Snapchat. So Snap actually made me so famous. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes because I have a lot of, I have over 1.5 million subscribers on my Snapchats. Mm -hmm. So Snap made me so famous. So it was when one of my friend, Enola Badmos, now said, Bob Risky, you have a lot of people on your, can you direct, can you just divert those people on your Snap to your Instagram? Mm -hmm. I have the, two, just be. And the two. Yes. I have a lot of audience on Instagram yes. and also have maximum of, audience on, on, Snapchat. on Snap. I'm like, okay, it's true. So most of them, I'm always reposting my Instagram handle on right. my Snap for people to go and follow. Right, yes, yes. yes. So that was where the revenue still coming from first. Yes. yes. But you were also charging people on your Snapchat at a point. Yes, that was when I saw the, um, the crowd, yes. you know, the views. Yes. I'm going to post one video in one minute. I'll be having like 100,000, 200,000, and I'm like, eh? Am I that big? In fact, at some point, I wasn't believing in myself. I'm like, what am I doing that people are just so interested in Bob Risky? I was asking myself, ha, is it Bay? Because I know people think Bay was just all about trying to get attention. Yes. There's actually Bay. Do you understand? There's actually Bay. Yeah, there's actually Bay. Do you understand? This Bay has been with me from my final year in. University of Lagos. I met him at Uni like, I met him in Unilag. Right. So there's the B. Do you understand? Right. So this B is just a behind scene that supports what you do. Not a internet kind of person. He doesn't like drama. He just that person that whenever you see anything on Instagram, hey, what did you do again? Yeah. What's up? Or maybe there's something I want to do, like my party. Yeah. There's a behind scene. Okay, don't take this. Support yourself. Right. So. You know, you said at a point, you said, um, you said, these people are wondering, you know, whether he or she yes. is. Are you he or are you she? Okay. Um, one thing about me, I'm super, I'm super nice. I'm super free. I don't, people think, things people think it's going to get me upset or probably, you know, tickle me. Yes. It doesn't bother me. Do you understand? So, like, example, when people come to my my Instagram and say, "Oh, you can never be a she, you can never be a ste, I can never be a she, but I'm making more money than you. That you are the real she. Do you understand? If we go out, do you understand? You there are saying she. If we go out and like, I, like I'm even using the gender more than even you claiming to be the real she. Do you understand? So that doesn't even bother me. Do you understand? Right. I don't. But, so whatever anybody so calls you. Either you address me at, I'm, I feel. But uh -huh. if we are close, right. if you are pers like, I'll say, you know, if you are close, like so super close, you can address me at anything. I don't find, I don't see anything in it. But if we are not close, and I'm just meeting you for the first time, 
you address me as I want to be addressed. You were born as a man. Yes. Why did you want to be a woman? Because being a woman now, I've paved a lot of ways for me. Huh. Women don't even actually, like women don't know how powerful they are. You don't know how to use their resources as a woman. A lot of them, mm. most of them uses right? But a lot don't even know how to use because I feel like when I was a guy then, I don't have anything. Do you understand? Mm. I don't have no money. <laughs> I was just there, right. hustling. Yeah. You know, nobody wants to even talk to you. Say. Nobody, wants, nobody even wants to share with you because you don't have money. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm. You just say, hey, look, Billy, hey, carry this one. Like your servants. Bro, I feel like I'm not in for that. Right. I want to be a boss of my own. So let me just use what I have to get what I want. Right. If it's okay for me, then I'll continue it. If it's not okay for me, I can just do it for his little business and quit. Mm. But I'm enjoying it. Like, I'm enjoying every bit of it. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. So yeah. I, don't, I don't even want to stop. Right. Because yeah. I'm enjoying it. Enjoy. My, my initial plan was, okay, just do for little business. That's ah. cross-dressing. Right. Do this cross-dressing ah. for your little business and make money. But I was not enjoying every moment. Millions of them drop into my account. <laughs> Millions of them drop into my account, like on on a weekly basis. Like I make so much money. And again, looking at this country, yes. hmm? if you're a woman, I think you can make more. You have more opportunity to be more successful than the other way gender. There's this word. This famous word say now because smart so they suffer. Now you probably get wrong. Good job, woman. <laughs> So all those things people say just just to shade me, yeah. but I've really embraced it. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So there's nothing you can say that's going to bother me. Right. Yeah. Um, so what year was that when you started the cross dressing? I started like three years ago. Oh right. Yeah, three years. So ago. the Babuski we know now, all of this thing is happened within four years. Really? Yes, four years. Wow. So, so it's three years ago you started because so it's in the same year. So that means like around 2017, 2018. Yes. Yeah. I finished from the rest of Lagos 2016. Right. Yes. Yes. I was supposed to go for my youth service. Right. But I did not because I feel like I wanted to make more money. I don't have time to start looking for jobs. So 2017, I was home. Okay. Then I was still trying to do. I, then I, I have a store in Ozone Yaba. I was selling. Unisys wears wristwatches and all those stuff. As Idris or as? As Idris. Right. Then, right. then I was in my finals in Unilag. So when I left school, because then I was a bit restricted, I can't do, I wanted to be purposely way back from 200 level safe. But I have this, this, I don't know, tough course advisor in school. And she loved me. So she's always like, no, no, you won't do this. No, no, no. Do you understand? So she, so she was able to, I was able to just manage the two years remaining for me in school. So after I left in luck, just felt, you know what, let me just be that person I want to be and make that money. Right. So after I left school, right. and I said, okay, I've made, I've made some money. Mm -hmm. And I got a room and a parlor in Lucky Phase 1. Because my friends like, ah. then I was having some Friends, like, I've you come to the island. Do you understand? So I moved to Lucky Fades 1. Then 2018, 2018, I bought a house in Chevron. Right, in Chevron. Yes, I bought a house in Chevron. I was in still 2018, in, yes, I was still, bought a house. I bought a, yes, I bought a house in Chevron. Right. So then I'm like, okay. So it's when I, you know, finish the house and I have full time for myself. Then 2019, I started thinking of, should I do surgery? Should I touch my body? I was scared, do you understand? I wasn't really sure. So 2019, nothing happened. 2020, last year, I was so scared, nothing happened. 2021, I said, I'm ready. Anything that wants to happen should happen. Yeah. So I went for my lipo. Right. Yes. Right. So is lipo the only surgery you've done? Um, I've done two surgeries. Right, which and which? Okay, I've done my lipo. Uh -huh. So lipo is for what? Should, lipo is for the belly or for the for thighs the, or for the no, waist? Then I did let me, um twenty twenty no twenty twenty one that first week that first January yeah. I did doing that COVID. Yes. I did my tummy, right. only my tummy. Okay. Because then they were telling me like, oh, when you transfer the fat to your 
to your butt. Yes. It's painful and all yeah. that. But when you just take out the fat, because then I was having big stomach, I don't understand where it was coming from. <laughs> so I told her, I said, I want to just take out the stomach. Yes. Nothing. Right. So three, I think like three months to my birthday, I'm like, okay, this year's birthday is just to get a banging body. I want to get a lipo done. So then, and I said, okay. Were you close to your mother? I was super close. When did she pass? She passed and, um, like, I think like seven years ago. I'm sorry, what happened? She, she died in Arj, not in Nigeria. Right, she died in what? Arj, Arj. No, Mecca. Oh, Arj, right. Mm, yes, right. Was, it a, was it a... I think when she was leaving, she yeah. was sick. Right. But she said she can make it back, right. that she will use her drugs when she gets there. Right. So the, that was the old story changed and she died there. Right, how was that for you? It was painful now because yeah. that was the only person that loved me. That was the only person that accepted me then, right. back then. Do you understand? Right. But you were flashy and all of that. that. Regardless, don't worry, I'm your mom. Let, let people talk. She didn't back judge then. you. No. Your mother accepted my, you. Even my dad. Yes. Your dad accepts you. Yeah, he did not. But I think my dad is just like, this is not our agreement. Right. It's for business. Ah, what is going on? <laughs> right. So your she dad didn't understand. mind it was for business. Well, not I told I told all of them yeah. because different people comes to like people they come and ah oh, see what's your brother's case see what your son is doing yes. see what so I was able to talk to my parents like see this is just for business right. let people not but let people not bother you yeah do you understand yeah so you know so they can be fine yes and they can be comfortable yes do you, you, you know need to take care of them you know how parents are yeah they're always too much about traditions, all yes. those things. Yes. So I was able to sit that, sit them down and explain what I was doing, my yeah. aim. Yes. yes. And so your father accepted after you explained. Oh, sure. So is everything good with your dad now? Ah, my dad is okay with me now. Yeah. Because there was that picture where you went home. Yes. But you said that you went home as a man. No, see, let me see. What me, I don't have time to start explaining myself on Instagram. Yes. So any news that is trending. Right, you just let it I, be I just trending. let it go. Let right. it trend. It's still support it's still up in my brand. Right. Now, what happened then was you know, I was like I was surprising early in the morning. You don't expect me to glam up early in the morning, like seven AM. It's not possible. So I just woke up with my jalamia. Like when you're jalamia, you can't see any shape. Yes. It's when, it's when you wear something like tights, they'll see your shape. Yes. So I was on jalamia, and I was on... The jalamia has a hoodie. Mm. So, I, so my natural air, I had to plate it all back. Then I, I was with the hoodie. So early in the morning, let me go and surprise him. Right. Do you understand? So that's what happened that very day. Do you understand? I can't just go and see my dad early in the morning to go and surprise him on his birthday, and I'm going to be all glam up. I'm not the one doing bathing. Let me not take his shine. Let him shine on his party. Right. Do you understand? Yes, I do. I get it now. Mm -hmm. So when you said the two surgeries you've done, I want to ask, I want to move on to something else. When you said the two surgeries you've done, mm. you didn't mention the breast reconstruction because there's, the internet is like, the, what is happening hey, there? That's why, I, let me just, <laughs> let me keep them guessing. Yes. Because it's so be nice when I see everything here. Yes. And they know that, oh, okay. <laughs> so you got to, let them keep guessing. Okay, I want to let that one back. I actually did something to eat dough, right. but not... So like I said, if you want to do a surgery, mm. doctor will ask you, what do you want to do? Mm. Mm. If he or she is touching the sensitive areas, mm. you can't just go and start doing... Start working on it. You'll be on a drug for a particular time. Do you understand? So it will be easier for them. When I wanted to have my lipo, the doctors, the, the, the lady saw me and I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me give you more two months. Go and eat. Don't worry, don't worry about your stomach. Eat very well. We want that stomach to come out. So take that fat from your tummy to where we need. So eat as much as you want. So because that time I went, um, I went there, she said, nothing can be done now. Because like a waste of time, go through pain for no reason because we don't have enough fats. Mm. And people know that if you're fixing your breasts, mm. that's even one of the most painful part because it's it's to avoid this cancer and everything. Mm -hmm. So it's you have to you just have to you don't rush it. You don't rush it. You have to take your time. It's not like lipo. Yes. Lipo can can be you can get your body back 
probably be okay like in two, three months. You can start moving around, doing your thing. But the moment you get your breast done, so under seven months, you are still indoors. Right. So it's a big decision. Everything will be paining you. And now, looking up, now, the list of surgeries I'm yet to do, and mm -hmm. I'm still going to do, do you understand? Mm -hmm. The face transition. Okay. Yes. What's that? Okay. That one is the biggest and the hardest surgery ever. Right. It's a 50 50 chance whether you survive or you die. That's just it. Right. They have to, rec like, your face. Right. They'll touch oh, it. To reshape it. Your airline, they'll bring it down. Right. You know, female airlines are always down. Yes, yes. Why the male owners always yeah, up? Yeah. So they will, they'll cut out some parts and bring it down. Right. This part, so they'll bring it forward. This part, they'll bring it forward. So you can have that girly kind of shape. Yeah. Then this part, I, I think they will, open, they will open the flesh and trim out the bones. Right. So you can have this oblong, this girly kind of lift your brows up so these are things that you still need to do but it's not something you can do fast 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 yes, fast fast yes, everything yes. sticks so um mm. like i said the breast part i'm on one drug that mm. helps grow it out you know obviously it, it can't really grow out very well mm -hmm. they'll still have to put implants to make it look you no know, how Shapely. you want it yeah but you know that some people are some people are some even some of your fans are sometimes sad because some of your fans are gay people. Yeah. Yeah. You see it on Twitter now. You see it on Twitter. You see some of these activists. Mm -hmm. Do you know that there are some of them that are just disappointed? Ah, but risky now. Use your fame. They should not be disappointed. They should not. Don't look at me. Do your own. Yeah, that, I cannot speak for you. It's not possible. I, I can't. Right. And I've always told people that see, don't, don't believe there's anybody you can cry to. Don't build yourself. Because if I have believed that, oh, there's one Michael Jackson somewhere, one somebody somewhere I'll cry to, mm. the person might disappoint me now. Yeah. So why am I putting my hope on that person? Yeah. So build yourself, build your brand. If you choose to speak to us, speak on behalf of other people tomorrow, there's no crime in it. But I choose not to say anything because I don't want unnecessary drama. I don't want unnecessary attention to myself. Mm. Okay, let's stop. Let's start from the latest. So I was hearing today mm. that you followed Tonto DK's ex on Instagram. Okay, rule one. Yeah. I don't talk about my friend. So you don't talk about your friends. Are they still your friends though? Yeah, we are we're already ex. We don't talk anymore. Right. But I don't there's no need. So there's no need. So you don't talk about people. No. Right. But you do know that, but the public, in the public, we've seen you break up. So we don't talk about any specific person, but we've seen you break up with your friends, mm. you put exchange words, mm. it's on attacks, it's on so. mm. Why? Yeah. Okay, now, someone cannot come out and be shading you right. or be saying all sort of things to you or mm. your... See, me, I'm very emotional. Right, okay. Do you understand? Okay. The public don't know I'm very emotional. Right. Yes, I come out to be so strong. I come out to be, I don't care. But deep down, mm -hmm. I'm human. Do right. you understand? Right. I'm super emotional. Right. So imagine your friend, someone you're very close to you, you're mm -hmm. like you really love so much, you showed full support, you're there. Mm -hmm. And the person now comes back to you not to appreciate all your efforts right. or probably f forgets some of the sacrifices you've made for either him or her. Mm -hmm. And you're not coming to the Instagram to start saying some people... Like, you're not coming straight to mention him. We are saying, oh, you're writing some quotes, you're writing some things just to shade. We were once friends, mm -hmm. not for a very long time. So I know you. Mm -hmm. I know what you can do. I know when a message is for me. The public will say, Shabi did not mention your name. Shabi is not for you. But we were once friends. I know my friend. I know what she can say. I know some things that we've done together that nobody even knew about it. When I see a funny write up, I know it. Do you understand? So when I talk back, I mean, the same way I'm very nice is the same way I, I'm very nice, yeah. extremely nice. Yeah. But you know, when you're extremely nice, mm -hmm. the other way around is terrible. Mm -hmm. So people only see me when I nag, shout, Rants, so allow me rants. Right. Do you understand? Yeah. 
don't allow me to look for you. Yeah. That, would like, that, that, that would be worst. Do you understand? But when I just talk back at you, I rant. If I see you the following, I can even offer you food, offer you a ride, offer you... That's where I am. Yeah. But the public don't understand. Right. They don't get it. Yeah. They just say, hey, why are you, you, you fighting? You are this? You can't expect someone. You, you can ignore. Yes. We can ignore. But most times, we are different people. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. If you can ignore, I can't. I'm, I'm not able to ignore. Right. And you are entitled to choose not to ignore. Mm -hmm. Right. You can ignore because you don't you don't want to be in that that drama that that drama. Yeah. But me, I'm a different I'm a different person than Charlie. Right. I'm Bob Brisky. Yeah. You're not me. I can't be you. So you cannot speak for me how I feel or how I want to express myself. Do you understand? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So what people will be like, eh, must I tell everybody, must you deserve everybody, must you talk? You can't tell me must I talk. It's on my page. <laughs> <laughs> it's my Instagram page. You're following me. Yeah. So don't tell me must I talk. Yeah. I can't talk. Yeah. People who say people who say, look, you know, you know you said it before, vanity. People say vanity. People say, mm. look, money is not everything. Mm. What is most important is a good name. Mm. What is most important, you know, is a relationship with God. Or what is more important mm. is, you know, you know, having a good family with children. <laughs> you know, that money is not the ultimate. That a person can have a happy rich life without money if they have friends mm -hmm. family etc you've talked a lot about money what do you say to that when you say money is not everything mm -hmm. you're lying to yourself money is everything if you want to get a good name it's not with money Buari is our president right yes. and he's rich he has a name for himself mm -hmm. Buari <laughs> if Buari is not a president who will know Buari Right. Who will know the name? Where's the good name? Who will know that good name? Nobody will know the name. It's the only way you're known. People know you for something. For, do you understand? For, for some reasons, people will know you. So I feel like, when you tell me money is not everything, it's, it's a lie. Money is everything. Thank you so much for this conversation, Vavisky. You know, I am not worried for you at all oh, no. because you know what you are doing. Ah, I know what I'm doing. And you've though. thought carefully yes. about what you are doing. Yes. You know, thank you for doing this interview. You're welcome. With us. You know, I know that this interview will cause controversy. This is what I learned coming out from Bobiski. You must not make assumptions about other people. You must not assume that you know what is going on in their heads, in their hearts, or in their lives. You must not push your politics or desires on other people. Bobiski rejects much of it. She rejects politics that she didn't participate in. She rejects sympathy she didn't ask for. She rejects desires that people project on her. She rejects identities and criticisms that she doesn't agree with. She is her own woman. She is her own person with her own power, with her own agency. But Brisky knows exactly what she's doing. But Brisky has thought very carefully about what she's doing. The reactions that all of us have to her are our reactions and our reactions alone. She is living her life. How are you living yours?